what you need, what you don't, how to do it. Welcome to Gamer Poets and to Modding My Way. Sit back, relax, pause when needed. You got this. What you don't need, a mod manager. Not only do you not need one for Valheim, but it creates extra steps. Once we set up the foundation, it's all just drag and drop. What you do need. To have launched the game since installing it. The first game launch generates some necessary stuff needed to mod. Open any folder. Click View. Activate File Name Extensions. Now you can see what type of file something actually is. Go to the Valheim Game folder. Right click. Send a shortcut to Desktop. Rename the shortcut whatever you like. This folder being here saves a lot of time when modding. And make sure to read mod pages. You will come across select mods that vary in their installation and requirements. Reading each mod page is the only way you'll know if something is different. Let's get to work. Installing Bepinex, the modding framework needed to create and use mods with Valheim. Open the Bepinex for Valheim page. Manual download. Open the archive. Open Bepinex Valheim. Drag and drop all of this into the Valheim game folder. If you want to do a little cleanup, you can delete the changelog.txt. Launch the game. Notice the console pop up. You did it. Let's install the basic mod, the DLL. The majority of mods that you come across will be just like this. In this example, I am installing a mod that lets me plant additional items. Manually download the mod on Nexus. Same thing if you download mods from other sites. Open the archive. In a second window, open the game folder, Bepinex, plugins. Drag and drop the DLL inside. The mod is installed. Launch the game to create its config file. Play and test the mod out or shut the game down and install another one. Required framework for using modded models. Manually download custom meshes. Open the archive. In the second window, open the game folder, Bepinex, plugins. Drag and drop the custom meshes DLL inside. Arrow back to the Valheim game folder. Back on the mod page, Download a simp libraries for FBX import. Drag and drop the archive's contents into the Valheim game folder. Launch the game so the mod registers. Once you've reached the main menu, quit. Here's how to install the mod that uses custom meshes. Waddle fencing. I love it. You don't need it, but why wouldn't you want it? Here's how to install it. Manually download the main file. Open the archive. In the second window, open the game folder, Bepinex, plugins, custom meshes. Drag and drop the wood fence folder inside. The required framework for using modded textures. Manually download custom textures. Open the archive. In the second window, open the game folder, Bepinex, plugins. Drag and drop the custom textures DLL inside. Launch the game so the mod registers. Once you've reached the main menu, quit. Here's how to install the mod that uses custom textures. In this example, I'm using Ivy's Texture Pack. It's a very cool option and worth giving a look. Manually download Ivy's Texture Pack. Open the archive. In the second window, open the game folder, Bepinex, plugins, custom textures. Drag and drop the PNG files inside. Mods with different folder structures. You may come across texture mods with a folder structure like this. That's fine. Just merge the entire custom textures folder from the archive into the one in your Bepinex plugins folder by dragging and dropping it into the window. If you overwrite anything, previously installed textures that modify the same files are just replaced by the new stuff. I also suggest installing custom audio and custom loading screens. Install them the same way you did the custom textures mod. If you never use them, no big deal. At least you have them if you need them and today's last type of mod. Mods that replace the actual vanilla game files. Here's one I use, how to install it, and if you end up not liking it, how to uninstall it. Willybox HD Valheim. It changes more textures in game than I care to list, and they look very nice. Here's how to install it. Manually download your resolution of choice. I recommend medium quality even for high-end systems. 
as the larger option visuals don't justify the performance set. You may even want to try the lower option. Open the archive. In the second window, open the game folder, Valheim Data. Drag and drop the archive's contents inside, overwrite. I use some other parts of this mod as well, but covering them will just confuse things. How to install them all are covered in the previous steps in the video. If you install something and one day decide to get rid of it, here's how it's done. DLLs. Just go into Bepinex, Plugins, and delete the DLL. The mod is uninstalled. Textures and Meshes. Open either the Custom Meshes or Custom Textures folder and delete the files that correspond with the mods you downloaded. You can always re-download a mod and check the archive to be certain of what files came from what mod. Mods that replace official game files, such as Willybox HD Textures. Open Steam. Go to your library. Right-click the game. Properties. Local Files. Verify integrity of game files. This will recognize that the official files have changed. It will erase Willybox textures and replace them with the official ones. And that's it. I know it's a lot to take in, but you don't have to remember it all. Reference this video when you need help. Go slow. Test your mods after you've installed them. Delete them if they don't work, as they may be outdated, or perhaps they just aren't what you expected. Most importantly, have fun. We all mess up. You are only modding wrong if you aren't enjoying yourself. I really enjoyed playing Valheim, both solo and with friends. So much so, that I'm going to make an entire series on how to mod the game. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you soon. A simp? Libraries for- Let's go!